Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to this message. I'm Erica. I am a psychic medium and an oracular priestess. I hope that you guys are all doing so good at this time. You guys have seen the title, so you guys already intuitively know why you're here, whether you're finding this channel for the first time or you've been subscribed since the beginning. Um, thank you for being here, my loves. Boy, do I have a reading for you guys today. And what I'm channeling and the song that I'm sharing and speaking of, I had this crazy, crazy synchronistic, miraculous moment moments happen last night in between recording Taurus's new Zodiac reading um, and their extended reading. By the way, whether you're a Taurus or not, if you're on the twin flame journey or in separation from a twin flame or a very high level soulmate, you want to go watch that Taurus Zodiac reading that I posted yesterday. It is crazy and the extended, and I'm not saying this. So you, so a bunch of people go purchase the extended. That's not why I'm doing this. And you guys know me. That's not at all. But what I'm saying is if you watch the Zodiac reading of Taurus and you feel called the extended was insane. I was like floored. I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. And the reason why it was so crazy is because of the events that literally happened like 10 minutes prior. And it all connects to the divine masculine, twin flame, you know, whatever you want to say, runner. I hate that term. I mean, I don't want to say I hate that. I don't, I don't want to say that word. Archangel Michael, I transmute that. <laughs> okay, by the way, um, if you do that, send out a negative thought vibration quickly. Call an Archangel Michael to help transmute that thought vibration. Okay, anyways, let me just do things really quick. Okay, let me just clear. I'm going to use um, my absolute, well, I wouldn't say my absolute favorite. I have, I don't know, I love a lot of crystals and, you know, precious stones and, you know, Mother Earth's special gifts and presents and, you know, all the things, right? But I love selenite. If you guys ever, if I ever work with you one-on-one -on -one in an um, energetic healing session, if you do feel called to work with me, whether it's a psychic reading or a passive Akashic reading or like a healing session, whatever it is, all the information is in the description box. Most of you guys probably already know that, but anyways. Okay, selenite is a very, very, very powerful, high vibrational, crystal, very connected to the angelic realm, to the spiritual realm, um, to help you connect to your guides, source, your higher self. Um, but I use it for healing. I had downloads. I'm like getting off track, but anyways, some of you guys, like everything I do shares for a reason. So some of you guys are really having a lot of downloads and messages about your heal, about your, uh, I'm hearing the priestess path, which has been coming through a lot a lot, a lot. Um, but for your soul mission, whatever it is, you know, healer, uh, shaman, medicine man, medicine woman, magi, high priestess. Okay. Anyways, a lot of you guys are getting downloads about like your next path, your next steps on your path, or you're getting downloads about your gifts or you're being called to certain things. Okay. So, um, anyways, <clears throat> crystals could be one of them or healing with crystals things of that nature. Okay. Anyways, very powerful healer. I received some very specific, I don't even want to say I received, like someone was like telling me it was my higher self. It was my soul wisdom, my gifts, my past life healing gifts going, you know, my, my, myself coming through to myself, um, as a guide and going, yeah, by the way, remember when you used to like do all that miraculous healing with selenite among other things, but <clears throat> I was like, oh my gosh. And then I was like seeing what to do and how to do it and it's crazy i've done like i do it to my i got myself like with clients i like i showed my mom like if she's like oh my god i can feel it like oh my gosh you know it's crazy so anyways getting off topic gonna go ahead and do a little clearing just real quick i just saw four four on the timer i love you guys so much thank you for being here i hope that everyone had a beautiful weekend beautiful weekend we are just clearing away any attachments, negative energies. 
If you're wondering what I'm speaking, it's a light language, language of the soul that also comes through and is activated. Shuno tutti arashana. Dono shuryashasami hata. Okay, so I've been, um, and so it is, thank you, I love you, Source, thank you, Spirit, thank you, Angels. Okay, so <clears throat> I've been recently, like, guided, just FYI, like, you know, if you've been with me and you're like, why is she, like, you know, because I I do this, I clear, I do, you know, sound stuff, but my guides have been, like, because it's true, I'm, you know, you know, you have to admit when, you know, it, it shows extreme strength when you've done something wrong, and, or, or when you... Not something wrong necessarily, but when you, you know, when you're not fully stepping up to the plate and you know it, you know, kind of a thing. So anyways, I was getting like lazy with some of my, you know, clearing and like, you know, clearing and protecting, you know, like I would just like protect and call in space and like, you know, for like everything I do today for my readings, I want to connect to protection, but spirits like, no, you need to do it like each time. <laughs> so <clears throat> here we are. So that's why I'm, I'm doing that. So anyways. Six minutes in, here we go with the message. Um, I'm going to try to not go for a very long time. Okay, for the last about, mm, I'm going to say four or five, yeah, about five days. Because three days ago, I posted this song on my Facebook page. Because um, I was listening to it and I was just like, I'm just going to share it. Because I can't post a song like that. I mean, I could do it in my story, but I can't do it on Instagram. Um, I don't remember if I shared it here or not. Maybe not. But three days ago, I did that. Um... So about for five days now, this song keeps coming through so strong. I feel it in my soul. I feel it in my heart. I feel it through my whole entire being when it keeps coming through. And it's just, you guys know me and how I receive and connect and all the things. And music is a huge thing, okay, for messages and, you know, um, for me to connect and do a message for you for the collective. So the song is by Zach Bryan, like country-ish, whatever. Yeah, he, I mean, I guess you put say country. But he's not like country, like twang, you know, right? It's not like that, okay? Um, anyways, he is just, ah. Uh, and the song is called The Good I'll Do. The Good I'll Do by Zach Bryan. Okay. So a lot of you guys are going to already know this song. I know it. Um, but I, I just keep hearing like the very beginning part where... He says, like, cause of you, and he like says it all, you know, he says, good I'll do, good I'll do, good I'll do, and he says, blue jeans in the driveway, and you're walking inside sideways, the one always affects you in beautiful, kind ways. And he says something like, um, and you grab me, he says, and you grab me by the hand, just as calloused, rough, calloused, right, as I am. And you say, you're proud. Okay. And then he, you know, and then the song goes on and on. And don't mind me, I'm not a singer. I'm just trying to, like, give you guys the vibe here. I'm going to pin it in the comments down below. Okay, so if you want to just, like, quickly go listen. And I suggest, I mean, you could be just go look up the lyrics. That's powerful enough. But I'm telling you, you have to hear the song. And if you're on this journey or if you connect as a twin flame or a, like I said, high level past life soulmate energy because those are strong. Okay. I just recently reconnected with a, um, with a, with us, like we're family, like we are like lineage, like we have incarnated in this as sisters and priestesses for, I mean, going way, way, way back, right? So we just recently reconnected and we're going to be getting a lot of that, you guys. So get ready. Okay. I've been talking about soul family, soul tribe, and it's not just romantic soul, you know, kingdom spouses, twin flame, divine masculines or whatever it is. Okay. It is about your soul familia and we both, um, you know, good. I, I spoke of her a couple times, but definitely I'm going to like be promoting her because I just love her so much because she's so powerful and her work, her medicine, it's so powerful. Okay. So, um, and we will be working together. We will be working together. We have no idea what we are 
integrating, we are connecting, we're tuning in and we are allowing source and, um, you know, spirit and our guides to really guide us and show us or help us, you know, connect us to what we're meant to do. So get ready for that, you guys, because I know it's going to be amazing. Um, her channel here on YouTube is Sophia Lush and it's her Sophia S O P H I A L and the last name L O U S H. And then it's high priestess technology. So Sophia Lush high priestess technology, definitely go check her out. Give her a follow. Definitely drop a comment, leave a like, show some love you guys, because she's incredible. She's incredible. And if you've been following me, it is, I've never, I've never ever spoken of someone like this, maybe except for another beautiful priestess goddess friend who is a psychic medium, Diana Farug, and who also is here on YouTube and her, she's mostly, mostly on Instagram. Um, so anyways, okay. So go check her out. And, um, by the way, um, I believe she is, um, going live tomorrow over on her channel and she's offering, and I don't know she, I think she said she was taking 10 people, but it's her first time going live 11, 11, as I'm saying this, and I'm just so happy and just so dang, like just excited for her. Um, go over and show some love while she's on the live. She's going to be doing live, um, you know, healing sessions, healing sessions. So, um, if you're interested in getting a little mini clearing or healing or whatever it is, she'll, she'll tune into your energy and she'll know, you know, what to do. Um, and it's so funny too, because like we inspire each other, right? Like, so anyways, so she's, she's, she was inspired by my life that the lives that I do and like the card pulls and the readings that I do. So she's like, I want to, you know, I'm, I should offer healing. This is our, this is our work. This is our light work. This is our medicine, right? Um, so it's, it's strong. It's powerful. And we're here with you for a reason. Okay. So anyways, um, but I will, you know, probably, um, I don't know if I'll do it here or like when I'm, cause I want to start a second YouTube channel and my Patreon, the second YouTube channel is going to be, um, messages of healing and a lot of light language and clearings and I'll do lives and like, you know, and my, my healing work too, cause I'm being called to step more into that, um, you know, and do this as a medium and psychic and Oracle, but also I need to branch. I need to start diving into my healing. Um, and that's again, another reason why me and her came together because our work together through lifetimes is very powerful. So if we're working together on one person and doing our own individual channeling and healing, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? So anyways, just another side note, but I just want to share it because this is a collective message. This is collective announcement and news. Um, so yeah, if you love me, you'll love her for sure. <laughs> um, she's French. She's beautiful. She's, you know, just, yeah. So anyways, okay. So back to the message. Sorry guys. Err, all right. The good I'll do, the good I'll do, the good I'll do. So he's saying, and then he goes, cause in you, I'm new, I'm new, oh how I'm new. So it's this divine masculine, like bathing these beautiful words, bathing his divine feminine in these beautiful words. This is about her and the good I'll do, the good I'll do, oh, the good I'll do. So he's saying, you have shined a light so bright. It shined light on everything that I was blind to. It lit up the shadows within. Now, I want to say something because a lot, you know, for some of you guys, for some of you guys, this could be someone, a soulmate, a soul connection that maybe you have not physically met yet, but you guys are connecting so damn hard in the ethers, in the astral, okay, that you're already feeling it. It's already activating. You're already feeling it. You're already connecting. You're tuning in. And I've been talking about this for, for right for a while where 
there is these other powerful kingdom spouses coming through or for some of you guys twin flames that you have yet to connect to okay but i know here on my channel because your vibe attracts your tribe and my a part of my mission work here okay for the twin flame journey and the ancient souls and and soulmate connections here because i'm an ancient soul so i attract ancient souls right okay it was to channel and help bring healing and insight and clarity to the collective about twin flame journey or very high level soulmate journey. Okay. So that's what I've been doing here, you know, among all my other channeling, right? But this message today is insane. So I've been hearing this song channeling coming through so strongly. Like I said, I feel it all over for about five, I'm going to say five, six days. I'm going to say five, six days. Okay. And I knew that I was going to record a message, but here's the thing. My higher self said, just not right now. Like just, you'll know, right. You'll know exactly when you need to record this message. So I was planning on recording this message last night after I did Taurus's, you know, Zodiac and then they're extended. So I put in an Instacart order for groceries. Okay. I put an Instacart order for groceries. Um, cause I, I made like a, a kale soup last night with like, you know, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go into that. I, I've been sidetracked enough today, but all the information and all that I share is very important. I don't say anything that's not important or for, or for a gut or for a divine guided reason. Okay. Um, so I put in my Instacart order and you know, they'll just leave it on the front porch. She'll take a picture. You know, it was delivered, blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to work. I'm going to record. Well, I got done with Taurus's first reading. And then right when I got done with Taurus's first reading, and again, Taurus's message was very connected to the collective, you know, twin flame soulmate, uh, messages that I do and what's happening right now. That's why I say, go watch it. If you're here. Um, right when I was done with Taurus's thing, you know, the, the Instacart driver, I, you know, starts pulling up. So I go outside cause I'm like, okay, they're, you know, I'm not working right now. So, um, I'll go get my groceries and say thank you and stuff and then come back in and I'll sit down and I'll do the extended for Taurus. Right. Well, this is when the craziness happened. This is when the craziness happened and I'm going to actually, I'm going to use light sears today. I am going to so, you know, oh my, okay, there's just so much, you guys, there's just so much, like, that's what I'm saying, like, this is something crazy, okay, um, and I've said it in, like, the last two, you know, I think on my live, and then, or something, and then the last two message, or the last message that I did, wait, exactly, exactly, I just saw it, Will of Fortune, Destiny, Jupiter, okay, like, the stuff that's going down, I think I just, oh, my, oh no, I did it right, the stuff that's going down in the planet, you know, in the, in the, in the astrology for, you know, okay. It's like crazy. Right. And then now the Schumann is going crazy. We're getting blasted again with these solar flares and angelic light codes and all the things coming through. Right. Something powerful is happening right now. You know, we're basically in the middle of 2024. Okay. And I said like months ago, I said, um, the, I could, I could see it very strongly, especially around the summertime and getting closer to Lionsgate. And then, you know, around that, this time that many, many, many divine unions would occur because we need to anchor in that frequency of light, of love, of balance, of shadow, healed shadow, shadow. We need to be able to hold space for the shadow because that's what's happening in the world right now. We're all rising up, right, in frequency, and we are activating that light, shining the light on the shadow in the world. And as we heal our shadow, we reflect that outwardly to the world. So our, like our, us doing our shadow work and all that is, you know, it's, it's reflecting on, you know, the earth, the globe, all of the dark shadow that's unhealed, you see. So 
Anyways, I'm like getting into that. But my point is, is that there is so much shadow work being done right now. And that's why we're seeing just this crazy stuff taking place in the darkness. We're seeing it, right? Okay. See, here's the thing is I don't send, I don't feed the energy because that's what it wants. That's, that's what, that's what the darkness wants. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? That was confirmation. See, I'm, it was that horn right there. That was so right. Right. When I was talking about the darkness and that's what they want. Don't feed the fear. Don't feed the fear of the energy of fear. It's the lowest vibration. I know I'm getting sidetracked again, but I need to, I need to say this really fast because I'm seeing so many very powerful light workers, star seeds, you know, um, allowing the politics to infiltrate them. And slowly but surely what I witness is they fall more and more into it and they get more and more angry at what's going on. And that is actually the opposite of what we want to be doing. Okay, so I just needed to say that and whoever needs to hear that, you'll, you know, it's, but when you are coming from a high place of consciousness, you are not coming from a place any longer of duality. You see through that, no matter what it is, okay? Um, now this is significant, even though I'm talking about like world events and certain things and you guys will know what I mean. And that's why I delete, like if I see anyone post something about politics or, you know, anything, I, I delete it off of, you know, I don't, the energy, I don't want it there. Cause all of all, just everything that that's, that is exactly what the darkness wants. And I'm so ascended beyond that. And I can see it so clearly. So I just want to help others see it clearly too. So that's why I'm sharing. Okay, I love you. All right, I know we're 22 minutes in. 2211 as I'm saying that. See, master numbers are showing up. We got the confirmation from spirit. Now, the reason why this is also relevant is because I was speaking of the shadow. Now, your shadow, your light has shined, like I said, so bright, okay, that it is, it's reflecting so brightly and it's, it has shown, it has, it has triggered it is activated and it has shown this person what it feels to connect to true agape God love. Cause in you, I'm new. Cause in you, I'm new. That's what the lyrics say. It's about being rebirthed. It's about coming out of the darkness okay, that they had to dive into or are diving into in their life at this time. Okay, but when they see you, you your mirrors, or when they feel you think of you, your mirrors. So, you are coming from a place of authenticity, love, balance, um, fertility, you know, compassion, empathy, um, faith, you know, just all these things. And you are reflecting that you are literally like, woo, like the energy is just on this person. Woo. Every time they think of you, see you, whatever. So you are reflecting the goodness to them and they are now reflecting it and going, the good I'll do. Oh, the good I'll do with you. You've shown me you know, what it looks like to live authentically. You showed me and mirrored to me what it is to break through the glass ceiling, to break through the structures, to the square boxes. This is expansion time with the Wheel of Fortune. This is somewhat, this is a turning point. For me, the Wheel of Fortune is the clock of the tarot. This is a turning point in destiny. I'm telling you, this is big. Going back to my story, destiny, destined synchronicities. The wheel is turning in favor, good fortune. Things are flowing. Lessons have been learned or are being learned. It 
is a pivotal time, halfway through 2024. Now the rest of 2024, it is meant for us to be in divine union and come together and integrate soul to soul, you know, person to person, lover to lover, um, whatever, whatever, right? To integrate our new frequency together, to integrate the love to, to, to all the things as we move from 2024 into 2025. Okay, we're gonna be doing, we're, it's, okay, it's game on time now, right? When my uh, Instacart driver came, I opened my door and he's pulling into my gravel driveway because I live in the farmland in the country and I, you know, we, we have a gravel driveway. I say we because I, I live on a ranch and my landlords live on the ranch as well and they have a gra gravel driveway too, so. Our driveways kind of like are connected, but they are big, right? So he's pulling in and he's blaring a song, you know, like when someone has all their windows up, but they're blaring a song and you could hear it just so clearly, like if you're close by and guess what song it was and guess what part it was. All I hear all of a sudden loudly is, and in you. The good I'll do, good I'll do, oh, good I'll do. And I swear to you, you guys, I about fell over. I could not believe it. Are you kidding me? I I was like a lot. And then all the other miraculous things that have been happening just within like five days in my life. Meeting my like basically like long lost soulmate sister priestess. And I'll be doing a reading all about that too, because these are the connections that we are reuniting with. Anyways, okay, that, all of the synchronistic moments are crazy. It's beyond just two, 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 three, 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 and license plates and, you know, whatever. And those are still beautiful and important, absolutely. But this is, I, I said to my mom yesterday, literally before I came back home, which is funny because what I said came true, literally just a couple hours later, I had said to her, I was talking to her about all the synchronicities that were taking place and just the craziness. And I, I actually played this song for her. I said, remember the other day when, um, or last weekend when I was here and I got so heavily that kiss song, you know, um, I was made for loving you. Right. And then you guys know that whole thing. And then I went inside and I was like, mom, I keep channeling this. It's so crazy. And then she's all, Oh my gosh, that's crazy that you're talking about that song. Just a few days ago on YouTube, I saw this like, you know, musical artist from the UK or whatever his name is Youngblood um uh and he, he's he oh my his he did a cover of that song I was made for loving you and it was my mind was blown I had chills whole body chills the whole time so did she I was like whoa this is crazy so then I did a reading about that right so this is like the same thing yesterday I was sharing with her like the same thing um and I said I said this is crazy mom I said these very profound like very miraculous things are happening, but they're showing up in the 3D. It's the Wheel of Fortune energy. It's that Jupiter energy, you guys. And like Jupiter, it's just like crazy. The transits that are happening right now. Jupiter moving into Gemini. You know, Jupiter and Venus were doing some fun stuff. Jupiter and the sun had done some fun stuff, like gone, you know, conjunction, like I don't know, the weekend, last weekend or something. Like there's just like all this crazy stuff. Then we had the full moon in Sagittarius. Like I just saw 28, 28, 10, 10, as I'm holding up 10. Okay, so this is destined, this is a destined moment. I'm telling you the wheel of fortune has turned and now things are just starting to show up and trickle in and be presented. They are materializing. I can't stress how huge this is and it has everything to do with this, this connection too. Um, so anyway, so the driver, you know, he pulls up and he's, blaring that song and when he pulls up like it's closer you know to my house he, he starts turning it down and I just was floored I text my mom right away and I was like mom I am floored right now floored my instacart driver just pulled up blaring the good I'll do by Zach Barney when I was channeling it for the last four or five days and I shared with you earlier about it and now it shows up in my front yard And I tell the driver, I said, I like that song. I said, good song. He goes, oh, you know Zach Bryan? He goes, I just recently discovered him. 
And he's like, I love it. And uh, he said, I'm actually like learning his songs on the guitar. Judgment, resurrection. Look at this powerful awakening happening to this masculine, to you. This is a resurrection of a destined connection, a turning point in destiny and a resurrection. Are you kidding me? You guys, I'm telling you, I was like, what is happening? This is crazy. For me, like, I am, I'm like so tuned in. I get all the mystical, magical, enchanting, all the things. Like, nothing surprises me. I, tr like, when I see stuff, like, you know, when I connect with things, when I'm astral traveling and doing all my light work and kicking ass and in, in the astral realm at night, like, nothing shocks me. As far as, you know, every, I'm just like, that is so crazy. That's so cool. Like, oh my God, I love it. You know, but for me to be like floored, I'm telling you, this is crazy. So anyway, so he, the, the driver is like, yeah, he's like, I'm learning, you know, to play on the guitar and like sing. He's like, I'll never do it in front of anyone though. Look who's on the bottom of the deck. And it's funny too, because my driver was a man. I mean, he was, he was, you know, like, like my age ish, like, you know, I don't know, maybe like 37, 38, 39, I'm 39. So. But anyways, um, I just thought it was funny because it was a, a guy pulling up, listening to that song. And I found it very significant of the masculine connecting to that energy and to that song. For a lot of them, it's literally the song or the song is significant for you too or for your connection. You could, they could be sending this song to you or maybe you've been hearing it. When I channeled the reading the other, like last week for... Um, the kiss song made for loving you. Like there was like, I don't even know, like 10 comments of, from people that were like, I just heard this song. This is crazy. This is so synchronistic. Like it was like so crazy. And I was like, this is the most like comments I've gotten about a channel song that like people were just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like it was like so crazy. So that was big confirmation for me, right? That <laughs> I'm channel, obviously channeling very um, relevant things, okay? Oh my gosh, this is resurrection. There he is, look at, there's the divine masculine. There's the emperor. He was hiding too. He was hiding. On the bottom, it's like, you know, he didn't want to be seen, you know, or he's about, he hasn't wanted to be seen. He wasn't ready to be seen, but now he's ready. <clears throat> this is action. Seven of Cups, making a choice. Someone who's making choices in their life. And then it's followed by another seven. But the Seven of Swords is upside down. So it's like, you know, someone who has been living a, a lie. Let's just say that. Someone who's been living a lie. They've been living a lie. They've been deceiving themselves in one way or the next. They were not in alignment with their divine truth. Their throat chakra was blocked. Their heart chakra was blocked. I mean, they're, they're, they did not feel safe in their life. Their root chakra was blocked. They weren't connecting to source. Their crown chakra was blocked. Like so much. I don't, you know, typically do reversals, but this is, a, you know, it is. It, it really is. It's someone who's not running anymore. You know, and they weren't running though. They were just on their journey. I mean, yeah, they were running from their own healing and things like that, but they weren't like necessarily on purpose or something running from their divine feminine. They were just on their own path, their own journey. And now it's divine timing. Someone who's rolling the dice. Look at the dice. It's like, Owning their, you know, owning, owning up to their stuff. Okay. So anyways, I got video of like, the, you know, him getting back in his car and like, I was like, cause I wanted to send it to my mom and just like, oh my God, this is crazy. Um, so I have video of that. Will you guys literally, right? As he gets back in his car and then he turns it up real loud. Cause he then like, you know, he knew I liked it. So he turns it up real loud again. I was like, yeah. So I got him like leaving, you know, and I could, you could hear the song so loud, like the whole time. So I sent that to my mom, literally as I'm like sending that to my mom and I'm like writing a text to my mom about like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. A, 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 a whole flock of geese flies over, literally right over me. And then like the day before, yeah, the day before, 
and I posted it and I shared it with you guys here as short. A beautiful hot air balloon. I live in the middle of nowhere. There's no hot air balloon. There's not even places around here that do hot air balloon rides. Like there's not even any, like you have to go to like, you know, like the Bay Area and like Napa or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's some places around somewhere, but you know, I, I've lived out here for a long time. There's no. And I was sitting in my backyard, having my coffee and I thought, oh my gosh, this is, this is big. This is spirit literally showing me like mir miraculous energy. And it was, it could have been anywhere in the sky, but it was in route right towards my house. And I said, it's going to, it's going to fly over my house. Like what the, f what is happening? So I got a bunch of video oops, and pictures and things like that. Okay. The reason why this is all important is because miraculous energy. This right here is expansive. This right here is powerful. It's like getting exactly what you want. It's also getting exactly what you never knew you wanted. It's also getting miracle moments of things that come out of nowhere and you're just like what is happening this is beautiful this is crazy i'm mind blown this divine masculine has been getting those signs too this is someone who has they're going they're going through a powerful they've been going through a powerful spiritual awakening powerful spiritual awakening So the flock of geese fly over you guys, and then, and I swear to, I swear to you, the the song and the driver, the geese fly over as I'm sending the the video of the song and all that to my mom. Then I, you know, get my groceries. I come inside. Well, Sage, my cat. I have a bunch of tarot cards in like wooden, like you know, boxes, um, you know, all over. And then I have like shelvy, like you know, things. I have them all. But anyways, like wooden boxes like this, okay. Well, I had some cards stacked on top of like the ones that were in the boxes and stuff. Well, Sage got up, like he was, I don't know what he was doing. He knocked a bunch of my cards all over the floor. Like, anyways, there was one card sitting by itself face down on my, on the, on the floor. And hold on. I, okay, I hope I didn't shuffle it. I hope I did not shuffle it. I hope I just left it on the, okay, I did. Okay, so it's this little witchy deck that I actually really love. And I should be using it more in my readings. But anyways, um, like he knocked over like all the decks. This one did not get knocked over, but one card I guess did. Okay, this card. And it was sitting face down on the floor and it immediately drew me in. And you guys obviously know me. Like I'm going to be like, oh, that's that, that means something. Like what the hell? Like, But I'm telling you, it was like a miracle, miracle, miracle. Like one thing after the next. Just boom, 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 within like a two minute span, if that, right? So I look at the card and look what it is. Card number 42, Amor. Look at Cupid, arrow. Amor, and you guys know I always say, mi amor is amor, right? My love, my loves. Amor is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. You guys, like what? I was mind blown. I was mind blown. And I bet you guys are going like, that's crazy. And you guys, if you're not, I know a lot of you guys are getting crazy, crazy, but like, that's what I mean, like this stuff, that was crazy. And this is the stuff that we are now going to be experiencing. It's starting to show up. The universe is showing us. When that hot air balloon flew over and just like stopped dead in the middle of the sky and just floated above me in my backyard, literally, I was underneath the bucket. I was taking pictures and I, oh, I posted it, you know, here, like I just heard like goddesses coming through and my guides coming through and they were all just like, don't you see the miracles, Erica? Look around, look what we are bringing, look what we are showing you. Like trust in the miracles. Okay, they're doing the same thing for this person and for divine union. The way that they can make a hot air balloon fly over a random farm ranch in the middle of like nowhere in agriculture land. 
and the way that they can make my Instacart driver pull up blaring that song that I've been channeling for five days and then have a flock of geese fly over at the same time and then come in and this is on the floor or no <laughs> this is on the floor <laughs> like what anyways that's what I feel like you guys are about to be coming into okay like I know I didn't pull a lot of cards today but whatever I don't care this is a strong message of someone who <clears throat> they have been sitting back and they have been falling in love with you. They've been watching you. They've been studying you. They've been learning you. They've been learning from you. Five of swords, bottom of the deck. See, they've been watching you. Exactly. They see you and they're in love. This love is big. You have shined. You have mirrored to this person for a while or for some of you guys, years. You have mirrored consistency, balance, love, like true God source love. This person views you as kind hearted and gentle yet fierce, a warrior, a goddess, a queen, a magi, a king. This is someone who's coming in. This is someone who is coming in. This emperor, their heart is open. Their crown is so powerfully lit up right now, you guys. This is something coming in. Sometime in June. Oh my, see? Eight of Wands. Sometime in June, something comes in. Things are picking up right now in your life. This person, this is passionate communication. This is the emperor taking action. This is the emperor who's been figuring out their next moves. They've been making moves in their lives behind the scenes. Clarify the emperor and the eight of wands, please. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. See, they've been doing a lot of thinking. This has been growing. This has been growing, 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 growing. Nine of Cups. What are they thinking about? They're thinking about their wish fulfillment. And they're trying to figure a lot of things out. This is someone who's very busy. They're a hard worker or, they, or they've got a lot going on in their life. They stay busy kind of a thing. I also, you know, I feel like that's kind of like, you know, it's, it's been their, it's been their excuse to avoid, you know, doing shadow work or, or healing or admitting their, you know, their, um, their, their own stuff, right? Like coming face to face with their own stuff. Okay. I'm busy. I've got a lot going on. You know, I'm the emperor. I run my own corporation or, you know, I'm an entrepreneur or I have a high level position in a company um, whatever it is, okay? It's also someone who has been thinking a lot about their past, uh, their past selves. You know, um, like, it's, it's like when you have nostalgic energy, and we're getting a lot of this right now of our past lives, like, you know, when we were younger, younger in age, uh, and then you have the King of Pentacles. Wow. You have the King of Cups, Emperor, and the King of Pentacles, and then the world. This is a new cycle beginning here. This is, it's it's the universe coming forward and saying, congratulations. Good job. You did it. What do you want? Okay. The world is your oyster. Do, you know, think big, you guys. Think Jupiter. Expansion, expansion, mansion, expansive, expansive, growth, growth, growth. Abundance, 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 fortune, fortune, fortune. Like I don't want to, you know, I want to be, right, a, a, a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire, right? Like I'm a millionaire, right? That's, it's a millionaire energy like that. Okay, put that into the, into this right now, for sure. Anyways, um, yeah, see, it's, it's charging ahead as it's victory. It's like, you know, stature, status, like not status in an ego-driven way, like meaning like, 
whatever it is that you're here to do, you, you do it in a way where, you know, a lot of people know you, a lot of people recognize you, you know, a lot of people want to work with you, you know, a lot of people connect to you. It's like that. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. This is, this is uh, the, the, the Emperor drives the chariot. I'm telling you this, this divine masculine, they feel you have reflected so much authenticity and true divine, div, like true divinity. You have, it's like, it's like they feel like they've been touched by God when, when it comes to you. And they, they are also God source, you know, God, they have that God consciousness too. But what I mean is like, it feels like, you know, like touched by an angel, like touched by an angel. I, I, you know, I connected to God. Like this is someone who really is an earth angel. Like they made me, they, I, I see now they reflected it to me and it took me a long time to really surrender to it and, and open up to it or, you know, awaken to it. But I see it. Okay. And this person is like, all the, you know, we will have a good life. They know this, but they're going like, because of you, I'm new. And like the song. Because of, because in you, because in you, I'm new. I'm new. Oh, how I'm new. That is the rebirth. That is the rebirth. And they are feeling so connected to you in regards to it. Okay. Clarify the emperor, please. Page of Pentacles. Someone finally hits send or picks up the phone and calls. This is the emperor. These messages just fly in now. Communication just flies in now, okay? This person has been holding on to communication though for a long time. It's like they've wanted to make moves for a long time, but they haven't done, you know, jack diddly squat. And they know this, okay? And what I'm hearing is authenticity. You reflected that to them, they are now reflecting it to you. Like you guys are, it's like they're, okay? They want to come in authentically, authentically. They will be authentic and honest and truthful and real. No shadows hiding in the corner, no ghosts in the closet or skeletons in the closet. This is laying it all out. We, it's agape unconditional love and they know this. The wounded warrior. This is someone who's also been the wounded warrior. They've been through a lot. There's the rebirth. There's the, there it is. Because in you, I'm new. I'm new. Oh, how I'm new. Death of the ego. I'm being reborn anew. To come and to be with you, to find you and to meet you at your level. Thank you for being my guru, my teacher, my guide, my twin flame, my divine feminine, my soulmate. Okay. There it is. There's rebirth. And after the death card, Scorpio is Archangel Michael with the ace of, ace of swords. Massive activation here. You guys see that? Okay. Blackbirds, crows, ravens. Very significant here. They're um, connected to the spiritual realm in a high, high way. Very, you know, psychic. But they also speak of good omens. They bring powerful news. So if you're seeing them, you may receive powerful news, communication, something that is a good omen, good luck, whatever. This is, uh, what did I just say about authenticity and how they want to speak and communicate, but they want to be, they're, they're going to be oh, like truthful, honest, authentic. That's what I was just saying, right? Look, that's what this card means. It means communication that brings new beginnings, but it's, it's a victory. It's awakening. It's enlightenment, but it's. Someone who is seeing clearly and they're connecting clearly and they're connecting to their soul and their soul is love. And who else is vibrating with a lot of love? You, right? 
Okay. So anyways, loves, this is what I've got. I know that this reading was all over and there was a lot of sharing, but you know what? <sighs> there is so much happening right now and I am a new earth leader and I'm here to be a friend and to help. You know, if you're just like, I just want to hear the reading and you know, I just want to know if my DM's coming back, then this is not the channel for you. And I love you, but it's not the channel for you. This is a channel where I share, uh, it's authentic. It's very authentic. And I don't hold back. And I share a lot about me and my experiences. And I'm always authentic with you guys, right? I am a twin flame reader because I am an actual twin flame. I'm not just a reader out here that's not on a twin flame journey. And there's plenty of them, you guys, that just hashtag twin flame to get views. And then they talk about it, but they have no idea what they're talking about. Because actual twin flames, we vibrate at a very high frequency. Very high frequency. Very high frequency. And we have and carry certain codes and activations and wisdoms and healings within our DNA. And a lot of star seeds do, but this this is different, what I'm talking about. That's why many of us are here on earth at this time. To activate these codes, to come into union, and to save Mother Earth and humanity. From dark forces and from itself. Right? It's going to be an hour long reading. Okay, cool. I just want to get a couple messages here. But this channel is for empowerment. It is for confirmation and insight. It is for a, a safe space and family, right? And I'm so thankful for you guys to be here. So thankful for you guys to be here. And thank you for being on this journey with me. The twin flame journey, the, the awakening ascension journey, the healing journey, you guys know. Oh, which reminds me, you guys, I'm such an airhead. Like, I am an air sign, I'm a Libra. But um, I was thinking that today was was the one-year anniversary of Gypsy, Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. But it's actually May 26th. It was actually two days ago. Um, so I just want to say, I'm going to like share something, post something, write something for everyone on the community page later. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart that you're here with me. I'm like, I want to hug you guys. Um, it's just been a while. It's just been crazy. And it, we're, we're three years in now and we're just getting started. Like we're, I've seen where I go. I've seen where this channel goes. I've seen a lot of what happens. That's why I don't worry. I'm not at her stressing like, oh, I gotta get views. I gotta pump out a bunch of readings. I gotta, you know, I gotta get my, my monetization up. I don't care. I do. Spirit knows where I'm at with everything. I'm good. I trust and have faith. Right? And I know this is like a little right, but I a lot of people need to hear this right now because I know it's different, but a lot of you guys are experiencing things and that's a message for you. And that's also for this emperor who has been going through massive awakening. Okay? Like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago I did a, I, I, I got a channel message of a catalytic heart awakening for many divine masculines. And this is that. This is that. Okay. I am awoken to this connection and to my truth. Massive confirmation with that. Like, that is beautiful. Exactly what I said. I no longer cling to outside validation and karmic energy. I don't care about what anyone says or thinks. I am living for me. Wow. Wow. That is their truth. Ace of Swords. That is their truth. That is their soul truth. See, they've been touched by Source. They've reconnected to the higher self. I am still confused about my life, about this, and about everything. I am not sure what's going on, but I feel myself changing. Exactly. Awakening. Remember? Okay. This is what's been going on. This person has been, and many of you guys have felt it. Many of you guys have felt it. Um, I have felt it. 
big time. Okay, um, the, you know, kind of chaotic energy that's been happening, not only maybe in your life and having initiations to level up to this divine union, <laughs> but so have they. You guys will have much to share and much to talk about. Your conversations are going to be amazingly wild and I can't wait to hear. So <laughs> keep me in the loop, leave a comment, you know, whatever happens, let me know. Email me, let me know. Oh my God, we came into divine union and this is what happened, you know. I love, okay, so they also say, I love that you're so connected. You're so intuitive, so spiritual and free. See, that's what you mirrored and reflected. What did I say? You shine the brightest, godly, divine feminine, like beautiful source light. They felt the heavenly essence and God source energy from you and in you. And that's even in that song. He says, there's a part where he says, um, what did he say? I woke up to kitchen smoke. Uh, and he says, you're dancing in the kitchen like God's moved in you before. You know, like the way she's dancing, like, like God's moved in you before. And I, and I said, oh my God, God, God's moved in, in her before. That's the divine feminine. Like when they think of you, they think you have, got, like you are God. <laughs> like you give that, that energy, like of the God source, love, frequency, energy, whatever. It's big. They feel it. And that song, you guys, I'm telling you. They love that you're so spiritual and free that you don't, you know, give up, you know, what other people are going to say or think. You have to stick to your truth. And they love that about you. They said, uh, you know, you, you live authentically and unapologetically. You're so celestial. There it is. There it is. That's how they feel you. They feel the celestial. You are celestial. This is celestial. I believe in you and your magic. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Last card here, my loves. I love you guys so much. If you want to tune into your own twin flame journey or spiritual guidance or, you know, anything, you know, about general things in life or whatever it is, um, all the reading info is down below. I think I said that in the beginning though. Anyways, I look forward to spending time with you soon. I am planning to reconnect with you. I hope to bring us out of 3D separation. Mic drop. Boom. I said, this is action. This is action. Then it's upside down. See, end a message. Perfect. I said, this is, I could feel it. This emperor, he is not sitting around anymore or for very much longer. He is not sitting around. He is taking action. He is taking control of his destiny and he's following his soul and intuition. And you know what? It leads right to you right to you. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. I have to say something about the song. So I don't know. You guys will know. You'll see. Um, but that is what I've got for you, my loves. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I just saw 57, 57, which is a 12. So kind of 12, 12. Maybe you're seeing that. Ooh, and I'm getting ear angels in my left ear right now. Okay. See, things are popping off. Stuff is happening this is magical times and that's why magical moments and things that are so powerfully synchronistic, it's insane, are going to be happening for you, showing you that you need to trust, showing you that your bounty is here, showing you that your true divine soulmate, twin flame, kingdom spouse, whatever, your person that you are meant to, you know, live this life with side by side is coming in now. Okay, right before we go, um, so I love you guys so much. If you don't want to stay for this very quick, uh, I'm going to do just a very quick third eye, psychic clearing. Um, if you don't want to stay for that, I love you so much and have a beautiful day. And the rest of you guys, um, just nod your head if you accept. Using my beautiful amethyst. I love this amethyst. It has very beautiful rainbows all through it.
Divine Masculines, if you are here as well. I know many of you watch and tune in. I've had many Divine Masculines reaching out to me through email. Who are wanting to book with me or they're just reaching out to share. Third eye. good okay i was just getting so much like blockages in the third eye like outside interferences blocking but also um you know negative just patterning and negative like thoughts of you know looking out to your future or your manifestations and having you know doubts or having blockages for one reason or the next so i'm clearing that okay to help you see clearly So it is. Okay. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here with me. Um, those of you guys who, it helps us so much if you comment and like, and just, even if it's just like a little heart emoji, it means the world. Um, you know, it takes two seconds. I comment my own stuff all the time. Cause I know it's also good karma. <laughs> it's like, that's not why I do it, but I also know like, you know, when I'm called like, Oh, this is going to come back to me tenfold, you know? So anyways, have a beautiful day, my loves. Um, and thank you for all of your love and support. And I will see you soon.